everybody. Happy New Year. All right, we're going to kick off the year with some general nail and cuticle care, both of which, or all of which, are super, super important um, to making your strips last, to making your manis look nice, to making your nail fees look good, because really that's what we're all here for, right? Okay, so I just took a bath, which softened up my cuticle area. Um, on top of that, I did a um, sugar or salt scrub on my hands because they needed it. So right now I'm putting oil, cuticle oil on. Um, and I think something, oh, and I'm dripping it all over, people don't realize is your nails grow out. This, by the way, is OPI, oh, I bet you can't see it because it's clear, OPI Pro Spa. It's a little strong for my likings as far as the smell goes, but I would guess most people will love the smell. So your nails grow out from your first knuckle. So key is not to only work your oil into your cuticle. Don't try to be super neat about it and just get it on your cuticle. You want to rub it all the way back in. Okay, so now I've got some of that. I'm going to rub it into my whole hand because it really doesn't matter. Alright, so new tool I found. I've got a paper towel here to wipe because I'm going to have oil everywhere. So this is a cuticle pusher and the pointy, but they're glass file, so they work brilliantly. So all I'm doing is lightly, and I'm going to show you guys this here in one second so you can see if that'll focus. Yep. Okay, so... You see that little bit I'm getting up? So this soft part back here is not your cuticle, and that's what people tend to think. It's that skin that grows. I mean, it can grow halfway up your dang nail. Until you really start working on it, you're not even going to realize that it's that far gone, right? So, and I'm doing this lightly. I don't want to take any big gouges out of my nail or anything. These are on Amazon. I'll post a link below because I know somebody's going to ask, but I will post a link. And the ones I got were like three of them in the box. So more than enough to share for friends, whatever you want to do with them. And I would say, if cuticle care has not been something on your list, don't go all in at once or you might end up with just some kind of, you know, sore hands or fingers. But do it a little bit every time. And either a nice hot bath beforehand or do your dishes. Obviously, bath is more enjoyable. Um, helps to soften them up and makes it much, much easier. I don't know. I always feel like I have kind of sensitive cuticles that can really get sore if I get too crazy on them. So I try to just do it a little bit at a time and hope that if I keep up on it, they will definitely come around and I won't have to do much work on them. I don't usually wear a full nail, so cuticles aren't as big of a deal for me. But if you wear a full nail, nail this is a big deal because um, you'll be, you'll have lifting nails if it's stuck to your cuticle versus stuck to your nail. 
Okay, so if I get this one I had quite a bit. And they say don't trim but don't trim this soft. I wish I knew what the name of that was. I should have looked it up. Don't trim this soft bit. But feel free to get rid of your dried up icky cuticle bits. We um, moved to the end of well end of November, first part of December we were moving in between doing work on the old house and new house. My nails took a serious beating plus I was not drinking enough water and that is one of the first ways I can tell is how my nails are looking. I start getting a lot of hangnails and everything just kind of goes to crap and I broke um, gosh, I don't know, four or five nails, but this one, I broke down so low, it's still way shorter than I would normally have it, but I broke it so low that it even, the, um, pad of it was really, really sore, so they're just now getting back to where I want them to be, I figured it was a good time for some of this, and to show this fun little tool, because it really does a bang up job getting all those little bits off there and I've been trying to do this like every other Manny right now so I feel like I have them pretty good anyway but hopefully you guys are able to see when you push back that top lip there then then you can see all this skin that's stuck to your nail. That's your actual cuticle part you want to get rid of. So, a few things I like to do before I actually put my nails on. Cuticle care if I need it. Or at least every other time, some cuticle care. Um, shape my nails. Right now, I'm still working on getting them back into shape because they were all broke down and I trimmed a bunch of them back hoping not to lose more and they were just kind of rough looking. So, um, do that before, before you do your nails. This one has a lot of cuticle built up on it and I'm not going to, you know, do this for hours while you guys watch because I don't believe it's that exciting but I wanted to give you some ideas on it so you can take care of your own so I don't know if I ever mentioned I don't sell color straight I just love it and in the over two years now that I've been using it two different times I have went without nails on, like for more than a couple hours. One was, I had to have a colonoscopy. That's super fun, but make sure you stay up on it if you're in the age that needs it, or if you have gut problems, because your guts also tell a tale on your nails. So. If you have a lot of splitting and such, it can just be gut health. And make sure you have enough water, which is the other one. Okay, so there, we've done that. Now, before I found that awesome thing, I always use this one, which is an orange stick with one end of it dipped into um, nail file stuff. But I like the glass file one a lot better. And I would just go through and work like that, trying to get all my cuticle bits cleaned up. Alright, so now I also want to show my nighttime routine. So this is Hard as Hoof. Seriously available anywhere. I got this one at Walmart for you know, five bucks or less. And it lasts 
I don't even know if this thing's gonna last forever. So these are like pointy q-tips. They're the makeup kind. I got them on Amazon. Um, maybe six dollars for a pack of like 800. So they'll last me ages. So every evening I roll it in there and then get under my nail, sides of my nail, and back of my nail. Now normally I would have my nails done, right? And that's fine. The only night that I won't stick to this routine is the night that I do my nails, which I will, after I do some cuticle care, I will do a really good scrub on my hands with Dawn dish soap because that'll take all these oils off that I'm adding right now. Um, and then I'll do my nails, and then tomorrow I'll be back into this routine where I'm doing hard as hoof all over. So the little pointy Q-tip is awesome for getting under your nails and I just kind of swirl it in there and I do think this definitely makes a difference so once I get that in all and on then I rub it in and again up to your first knuckle because that's where your fingernail is starting from is your first knuckle so you want to care up to it just make a habit of going to like your middle knuckle and then you'll be fine you'll have it covered right and once I put the hard as hoof on and underneath my nails I just kind of leave it there to soak in then I throw on some oil this is another one CND solar oil I think it's called uh, one of my girlfriends sent it to me last year for Christmas. I just would do my cuticles after I've done hard as hoof. Now I know we just did cuticle oil, right? When I was showing you filing. But this is, I'm showing you now what I would do in the evenings, which is hard as hoof, cuticle oil, and then I end just with lotion. But you don't want to do that the first day you do your nails because then you're going to run too much risk of having lifting edges and so on. So, there's some of my tricks and tips. Now I'm going to need to use my nail brush and give my hands a really, really good scrub because I'm going to do some slanted nails in one can you see it is pick your poison with how sweet it is which is such a great blue and you might be thinking Stacy what in the heck and back but when you're doing slants with two sets unless you have a big contrast you're really not going to be able to tell that you've used um, two different colors like you will super close up but anybody at a distance is not going to notice it. Oh, you know, another thing I'll say, um, when you're filing your nail, when you're doing your nail shaping, if I have something that needs a lot of shaping, I'll give it a little snip with my, um, snips and then file. And so I will say I go against all the normal things you hear and I no longer file my nails straight down. I felt like that was what was making them um, split and separate. So instead I go this way to the middle and then that way to the middle. Just make sure you're not going back and forth. And then I have found that helped anyway for me and it might be different for anybody, you know, for everybody. Do what works for you. But, there you go. That's my, my cuticle care tips. I feel like I still need to work on this one a bit. But it had a lot going on. And I don't want to get too rough with it. So, I'll just keep it up for the next couple weeks. And hopefully I'll have it evened out good. Hopefully that helped. You guys let me know if you have any questions. And I will link these nifty little glass file pusher pointer 
I don't even know what the heck you call them. But I will link them. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll be coming right back in a few minutes to do this slanted set.